My name's Ross Mitchell and I run the Castleton Farm here in the northeast of Scotland where we grow strawberries, raspberries, blueberries and cherries. Our family have been here since 1992. Strawberries were the first crop that we started to grow where we used to have an existing crop of 20 acres and that's now grown to over 120 acres which is the equivalent of about 142 football pitches. So with the addition of growing in polytunnel it's totally revolutionised our whole business. As well as harvest through the extended period, it gives us a much better quality fruit and is a much better product at the end of the day. From previously having a six week summer season growing outdoors, we're now growing for nine months of the year. To extend the season further, we've invested a lot in the biomass. It's using wood chip to put heat into the tunnels. So this has uh, allowed us to extend our season further by up to six weeks on each end of the seasons. So we started growing raspberries in uh, 2002. We're now producing raspberries for eight months of the year. So we've got a long extended season with raspberries. Blueberries were a crop where we thought we could fill a supply gap during September and October when there's no blueberries growing anywhere in the world. And so the blueberries we've been planting ever since 2005 and we now grow uh, over 100 acres of blueberries. Blueberries uh, are a very temperamental crop, uh, also being very small and much harder to pick and harvest. So there's a lot more care and attention goes into producing the perfect blueberries. In a collaboration with MS, we started to grow cherries in 2010 to extend the offer of UK fruit. We're aiming to extend right through the end of August into the first half of September where the English crop is all finished and there's no UK cherries uh, being offered to the customers. So we built the pack house in 2010 to give us a lot more control over the full supply chain, improved our chilling facilities and produce a better quality product for the, the end consumer. Our first introduction into producing energy was when we built the pack house, we installed solar PV on it and that helped produce electricity in the summer months when we needed it most to cool the fruit. We then developed the energy centre in 2015, which was completed in 2016. I'm Anna Mitchell, I run Castleton Farm Shop and Cafe. So in 2004, we opened a small farm shop in our local village. We did this so that we could sell fruit directly to customers. It proved to be very popular and it gave us the confidence to go forward and build a custom built farm shop and cafe on the farm. We had 50 covers in the cafe at that time. Within our farm shop, we were selling lots of different local produce. We also began to make a jam range with our own fruit and ready meals, which proved to be very popular. Due to the success of the farm shop and cafe, in 2013 we extended to include a production kitchen where we now make all the jams and homemade meals. And we also doubled the size of the cafe, taking it to 100 seats. At Castleton Farm Shop and Cafe, we aim to greet our customers with a smile, offer friendly service, showcasing local produce and our own produce as much as we possibly can through our menu, our meals and our home bakes.